and what is up welcome back to the channel good to have you back in here if you're new in here consider subscribing but you know wait till the end of the video and if you're back in here hit the like button let's get it going so what i want to talk about is a pretty simple topic but something that i was thinking about over a couple of last days and that is essentially just why you shouldn't tell anybody about what you're trying to manifest and there's there's definitely something behind it because you know we've always heard about when people spoke about oh don't tell anybody your plans you know but this is kind of a little bit more intricate and more involved in manifestation above everything else so essentially to get to the crux of everything you've got to look at the whole saying and most people get the saying they get confused by the saying and that is everybody is you pushed out and and when you say that a lot of people who sort of haven't been doing that type of reading and who haven't been going down this journey it makes them extremely confused because it's like what do you mean by that what do you mean by everybody is you pushed out and the most basic way that I can think about it or explain it is that imagine you had a torch, right? So I'll use the stand, for instance. If you have a torch, which is up here and it's got this bright light that is shining down, right? That's, think of that light. Okay, you've got this one torch and it's shining down. And then look at... A piece of board that has billions of little holes in this board right and then below that board you've got another board where all the light eventually ends up so now you've got this torch shining down it's going through all these little holes and then all the little holes are reflecting or showing on the final board so that to me is the best example of how I can put it where what you're looking at when you see everybody around you is you're looking at all the little dots on the final board all the bits of light and you and which is separated which is you're able to look at at itself essentially it's able to look at itself you are able to look at yourself right but the truth of the matter is you are the torch you know and by you i mean everyone me you we're all the torch because god is one consciousness is one there's only one consciousness it just perceives itself separately and that's a whole different video we can go into that some other time but this is the point of where it gets to that fact of everybody's you pushed out by looking at all the different types of all the different dots of light you actually just it's separation you know, I'm over here, they're over there. It's separation. The real truth is that we're all one. We're all the same power source. We're all the same torch shining the one light. Viewing ourselves as through a mirror. Like, we are the gold. And we're all a bracelet. And then all the other things in the world are all different things you can make from gold. But everybody is just gold. You know, it's all the same source. So that's why everybody is you pushed out because we're all from one and this is this is the idea behind it. And so when you tell people about your manifestations and you aren't truly walking in the assumption of your wish fulfilled, what you're going to reflect is your doubt. Because you'll notice when it happens, you'll actually notice that when you aren't really confident in your manifestation and someone goes oh hey what are you getting up to or what are you doing these days and then you start going over your plans some things that you might be trying to manifest what happens is that when you tell them all of a sudden you start getting that feedback of oh but um do you know how much that costs or wow um yeah it takes a lot of time to get that going or you know, you, you, know, you, you got to be really skilled to get that done. A lot of doubts start showing up. And most people think like, oh, these people just don't believe in me. But it's really you don't believe in yourself. You don't believe in the assumption. 
so that's why everybody is you pushed out and that's why all your doubts is essentially just you what you truly believe what you are inside is getting reflected back to you because i can tell you another thing when you are truly truly confident in what you're doing even when those little doubts come up through all these different people you are so confident in what you're doing that you'll almost notice that they'll just all of a sudden get on your side and they'll be in complete agreement with you oh yeah um i could definitely see you doing that you know all of a sudden you have a bunch of yes men around you and that is just essentially because what that is what you are reflecting from within you're so confident but the problem is that you can't really not everybody gets to that level in the beginning so what happens is because people are in this world where they think of this you know type of separation where it's kind of like oh this is my friend who's telling me this and now i don't know and now i'm not confident in if i can actually even do this and so what happens is when they tell people they then start assuming what the people are telling them is true and that's where the problem is because now your assumption changes and this was your path and now you're going the other way and that is why it's best to do it in silence i mean some of the greatest um cele- not even celebrity sportsmen i would say have gone through both paths you know like the one i like to talk about is like with Conor McGregor for instance he even used to speak about how when he was trying to become this MMA fighter and he was telling everybody he was still a plumber and he was said he was going to be the most um like the first Irish world champion and even his parents were like okay so show us anybody else from our country who's done anything in the UFC and there was no answer and he still he, he didn't care so those were his doubts reflecting back to him but he was able to look at them and say no i'm going to do this like there's no ways that i'm not going to do this and so he, and then he ended up doing it but he had that and he has that extreme extreme confidence he's able to to do that so it just comes down to the point of do it in silence when you get that confidence and you know there's nothing that you can't do that's maybe when you will sort of toy around with it and almost look in the face of your doubts and be like you can say whatever you want but you're not going to break me this is already done i'm already in this assumption um and some of my greatest manifestations have come from the silence and the nice thing about it is that it it's already happened So when you go tell someone and you're like, "Oh, you won't believe what I did. Like I I wanted this thing so badly and I got it." You know, and you know, at that point no one can really doubt you or you can't doubt yourself. So that's all I want to say about that, but um if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. If you, if anybody needs to hear this, share it with them and if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button i'm always having fun with these my old videos are over there there and subscribe over here and appreciate everything the likes all the the comments and just the views uh helps me out and i'm helping everybody else out and i'm out <laughs> peace